but by every word, the proceeds will come out of God. So Matthew chapter 4, verse 7, Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 10, Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. So, Papa, it is by God's word in our hearts that we can receive sins. Psalm chapter 119, verse 11, Your word I have hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Dapat ang uh, salita ng Diyos ay uh, isa sa puso natin. Napakahalaga ng uh, mga salita niya dahil kapag hinilaya natin ang bawat salita ng Panginoon, ito ang magbibigay kalakasan sa ating buhay, magbibigay kabay, magkakalakas sa ating mga kahinahan. Kung may mga katanungan tayo, Sa Diyos, nandiyan na kanyang mga salita. Doon natin makikita ang lahat ng sabi ng Amen? Amen? The Word of God is therefore foundational to our spiritual fitness. Reading the Word. The Word of God developed the habit of reading the Word daily. Start slow perhaps with the New Testament. A chapter a day. Siguro naman, a chapter a day, nakakabasa tayo. Pero, nasubukan nyo na ba kung nagbabasa ng Biblia? Hindi ba doon tayo na-attake na ito? Pero pagka nakakala tayo sa Facebook, ayun mo naman, hindi tayo ka-attake na, no? Nandun yung ano eh, nandun yung... Chika. Yung... Isa. Nang antok. Pangatlaw, progress to reading the Bible to each year. Siguro, kung yung pagbabasa natin sa chapter at day, paglipas ng panahon, magiging two chapter at day na. Magiging three, three chapter at day na. Hanggang sa may isang puso na natin at makitindihan ang salita ng Diyos. Ako, ginagawa ko para hindi ako uh, atakingan ng to. Alam mo, ginagawa ko, pagising na pagising sa umaga. Salita na ng Diyos kagad ang pinabasa ko. Hindi na ako kaya pinun, bagong gising ako eh. Di ba? Isa yung sa natutunan ko. Kahit nga namisa di pa ako nagigilamos na pwede mong kaano na eh. Kaya lang, dapat mong ginamos ka muna kasi para hindi wala na ako basa mo ito. Kapag may bago sa kanang hindi yan. Anyway, read devotionally, meditating, and what you read. Dapat natin isa sa buhay ang mga, kung ano man mga babasa natin. Because the Word of God will help us to grow in grace and knowledge. In the original five days plan, the same exercise involved sit-ups. Alam niyo ba yung sit-ups? Yung sit-ups, yung papatigas ng abs. Yung kapatisan, ayan mo, gamonin natin dyan yung magiging kapatisan. The second exercise, uh, exercise is sit-ups to strengthen the big section of the study book. Our spiritual five PH plan involves a spiritual exercise that will empower our souls. Alam niyo kung ano yun? Spend time in prayer. Ako hindi ako na masyadong mahaba magdasal. Like yun lang ako magdasal ako. Lalo na pagka nasa karamihan o nasa ng marami yung kasama. Pero nasusubukan ko rin magdasal. Kung nag magdasal ako ng mahaba at empty, especially kung nag-iisa ako, especially kung madili yung pahini, doon ako nakapagdasal ng, ng nais kong sabihin sa Diyos. Ngayon ko dahil siguro sa kapag uh, nagdadasal tayo, kasama niyo, talagang wala akong maisip kung ano na lang yung pumasok sa isipan ko. Pero kapag ka, uh, Tayo, sino kong dadasal na nag-iisa, doon kong makasong lahat ng nais kong sabihin sa Diyos. At doon ko din nadarama na, na 
kasama ko siya kung sinabi niya na isa mga kong dalawa na nagkakatipulipulo sa kanyang pangalan, kasama natin siya. Pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, kailangan kasama ka lahat ng pagdarasal. Dahil sinabi rin ng mga ng Diyos na kung magdarasal ka ng talintin, kailangan nakatago ka yung walang nakakakita sa iyo. Kung paano mo magbigay ng reward sa iyo, ayaw mo natin sa lahat. Hindi ang tao. Amen? The power of prayer is for He is from God. In 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Dito kami dito natin na isa lang yung gagawin natin sa Diyos. Pero tatlo ang ibibigay niya dyan. Yan sa sinasabi na yan. Bakit kung nasabi yun? Isa lang yung ibibigay natin sa Diyos kung nasabi ng Pesha ka niya. Pero dyan, makikita natin tatlo yung ibibigay niya. Magiging faithful siya sa atin. Patatawarin niya tayo. At lilinisin sa ating mga kasalanan. Ayaw ko ba natin ang isang nang binigay natin sa Diyos at kapagkagat ang binigay niya kapag ito ginawa natin. There is peace from God. In Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 Be anxious for nothing but in every but but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your quest be made known for God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds to Jesus Christ. There is strength from God. Ephesians chapter 3 verses 14 to 16 For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ from whom the world, whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of His glory, to be strengthened with might through His Spirit in the inner man. There is opportunity from God. Napakarami ng mga bagay na bibigilin sa atin ng Diyos kapag tayo magtata sa Sanya. In Colossians chapter 4, verse 3, We are praying also for us that God would open that open to us a door for the world to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in chains. Sinabi niya ni ni Paul sa mga taga-colossians sa pagdarasal ino-open ang Diyos ang pintuan para sa kanyang salita. Kung magbabasa tayo ng Bible hindi tayo ng ano ng wisdom para makunawaan natin ang kanyang mga sinasabi. Kasi di ba ang Diyos ang umuman natin madala sa magbibigay siya ng parable which is napakahirap itindihin. Pero kung magdalasan tayo, hihili tayo ng wisdom sa kanya at makikita ng Diyos ang bisan sa ating puso Sino ba siya para hindi pagkalaw sa atin at hinihiling sa kanya? Dahil yun naman ang gusto niya ang ispread mo ang ispread mo ang salita ng Diyos. May sulisigit. There is boldness from God. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 19 to 20 And for me the utterance may begin to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So for me there is wisdom from God. James chapter 1, verses 5 to 6. If any of you lacks wisdom, 
Let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in free, with no doubt him. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, dripping and tossed by the wind. Yun ang sinasabi ko kanina na humingi, humingi lang tayo sa Diyos kung makita niya yung desire sa ating puso na may uh, kababaan lo at may bukong para ng palataya ibibigay niya yun sa atin. Pray perfectly. Ano ba yung perfectly? Yung, uh, yung nag-iinit, nagkakalaw. Tama ba yun? <laughs> Taitin. Taitin. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Taitin na pagdadasal. Uh, as you read the word of God, pray for wisdom. Yan, yung napagin ko kanina. Pray daily for forgiveness, strength, opportunity, boldness. I still I pray for peace, healing, and tranquility. Continue earnestly in prayer, which you are in with thanksgiving in Colossians chapter 4, verse 2. Consistent fervent prayer will strengthen your world, your relationship with God. In the original five x plan, the third exercise involved back extension that increases flexibility. Our spiritual five x plan involves a spiritual exercise that enrich our souls. Sing praises in the world of The music ministry, pasado na dyan. Pero, hindi sa kong pasado na kami dyan, eh, uh, makakalusot na kami, hindi pa rin, dahil kailangan ng pagganta, tayo hindi pa rin sa puso. Ako, Meron akong isi-share sa inyo bago ko sabihin kung anong nga nga dito. Noong panahong na 1990, doon ko unang nakilala ang Panginoon. Doon ko siya, kumbaga, matasabi kong doon niya ang tinawag. Pero hindi pa rin naging ganun kalalim yung pagtawag, yung, yung pagkakilala ko sa kanya. Although, Naging miyembro na rin ako ng news ministry noon sa Catholic. Nasa Catholic Charismatic kami noon. Yung panahon na yun, nagkaroon ako ng isang pagsubok. Doon ko nang na-offer sa puso ng misis ko. Open heart surgery. Sa panahon na yun, nasasabi ko na at aktibo-aktibo ako sa music. Ang kinakanta pa nga namin nun, yung ano eh, yung May king melodies in my heart Wala ka tatanda niyo naman ako Ayun, stop your foot, hallelujah Hindi mo ganun-ganun pa kami nun eh Although, kahit nakakatawa yung mga kanta ng Yung rejoice ba sa Panginoon na ibibigay mo dahil Napakasimple kanta na parang pang bata Hindi ka tulad yung mga kinakanta natin ngayon mga hill songs, planet singers, yan. Noong panahon na yun, uh, isang mabilis lang ito. Dumating yung oras na kukuperahin na yung misis ko sa puso. Naghamilap ako ng mga 10 donors na tao pa sa, sa blood. Noong nakompleto ko yung mga tao na yun, tumawag ang art center sa amin na kailangan, i-ready ko na yung mga tao dahil isasagawa na yung procedure sa puso ng misis ko. Nung araw na yun, yung lakas, lakas na ulan. Halos parang bagyo. So, nung parang na yun, hindi pa rin gaano ang uso yung magali ang komunikasyon sa atin. Wala pang sample mo, wala pang email gaano, Kumbaga, hindi pa namin siya na ito sa internet. So, kailangan, para makontak mo yung tao, pupuntahan mo, sasadyan mo personally. Eh, dahil nga, madilim, uh, bulimling, 
hindi pa hindi pa galing ma maulan yun. Pinuntahan ko, kinuha ko yung bisikleta sa pinsan ko, tinadya ko lahat yung sakit na yun. Yung iba, nakausap ko, tila tatlo lang yata sa loob, sa sakong tao, tatlo lang yung nakausap ko, na sumagot na sikil, darating kami. Tinabot sa kanila yung oras na yun. Yung pito, wala, ni isa hindi ko nakausap, nagbili lang ako. Pati yung sasakyan, na hihirapin ko, gagamitin na ko para dalhin sila sa heart center, wala pa rin, pati yung may ari, wala. So, ang ginawa ko, andun ako sa, sa pintahan ng bahay ko noong nakatingin ako sa labas, kumanta ako ng kumanta. Kumanta ako ng kumanta ng mga papuri sa Panginoon. Tapos, bito ko magsapal ng ulan. Ang lakas. Like, oh Lord, kung talagang yan ang ano mo, kakantaparin ako, kumanta ako ng kumanta, kumanta ako ng kumanta. Halos nakakaiiyak na ako kapag Tapos makikita mo, isa-isang nagdatingan yung mga, yung sa kung tao kailangan, kailangan ng misis ko para sa puso niya. Isa-isang nagdatingan. At ang muli muli, kumanta rin yung sasakyan. Ano ano yun? Hindi ko hindi na kausap niya. Bigla hindi dumating. Hindi ko alam kung paano nangyari. Basta ka lang ko lang, huli yung sa Panginoon sa oras na yun. Kaya nang pakanggalan, kumanda tayo sa Panginoon. Yeah, the role of singing. One purpose of singing is to praise God. In Acts 16, chapter 16, verse 25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them. Yung e, parang na yan, si Paul at saka si Silas, nakulong sila. Kumanta sila ng kumanta ng uh, pagkulong sa Pernon. At biglang nagbukas ang uh, ang pintuan ng kulungan. Pero yun yun, sa pagkanta lang, bumukas ng at palalayaan sila. Pero hindi, hindi yata sila tumakas nun. Basta nakita na namin po na magpapakamatay ko ang ya dahil bumukas nga yung pintuan ng kulungan. Kala niya, wala na yung kanyang mga priest lang to. Eh, mapaparusahan siya ng kamatayan. Kaya gusto na niyang magpakamatayan niya, pupunahan na niya. Magkaroon pinigil sa lipon ng oras na yun. Uh, it is type of spiritual sacrifice that we offer to God. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15, Therefore, by Him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, given thanks to His name. A way to be filled with grace and melody in our hearts. Like I said, making melodies in our hearts. Colossians chapter 3, 16. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdoms. In all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in songs and hymns and in spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 19. Speak to one another in song and in and in you. Spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. A way to respond to the goodness of God. The chapter in James chapter 5, verse 13. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing song. Singing praises is foundational of our, to our spiritual well-being. Singing praises, making praising God is so a part of your daily devotional. Either by listening to Him or singing them yourself. Kahit, kahit na ano yung hindi tayo masyadong magaling kumanta, kumanta ka lang ng kumanta. Alam, balang araw, mandi-dibelo. Yeah. Tutulungan tayo ng Panginoon. Para ako nun, hindi lang sa pagganta, sa pagsayaw. Sino naman na ang pasayaw ka ba? Sa pagganta. Ang isasabi ko na lang, yung nung una ako sumangas sa Munich Ministry, alam niyo po ako ko, para ako super na ako po. E ganyan lang. Ang mga kata ako, kata, ganyan lang. Pero ngayon, makikita ninyo yung mga ganyan lang ako. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, sing while you drive, while you work, either quietly or loud. Yung bang, kahit kung ano man, kung ano man ginagawa natin, kumunta rin tayo ng pagpuri sa Panginoon. Para na rin tayo dadasal nun. Dahil ang, ang uh, pag-awit sa Panginoon ay pagbibigay pagpuri sa Hanya, pagpuri sa pagpudasal. Make melody in your heart, sing with grace in your heart. Singing enriches our souls and fortifies our relationship with God. The fourth exercise in the spiritual Bible is from us push-ups to straighten the upper body. From you push-up, from the upper body, from the upper It involves a spiritual activity that strengthens our relationship with God and other Christians. Pangapat is fellowship with brethren. Kaya tayo naman ito ngayon dahil sa fellowship. Isa yun sa magpapalakas sa atin, sa ating spiritual life. Katulad ngayon, may mga bago tayong dating, mga brothers and sisters, ito na yung panahon para makilala natin sila ng lupusan. Amen. The importance of fellowship, the church is the body of Christ which is built up when each part does its shares. But speaking with it uh, in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 15 to 16, God is speaking the truth in love, may grow up in all things into Him who is the head. Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the effective working by which every part does its share, causes for the body for the divine of itself and love. Naalala mo yung isang tapit ni Pastor Lord, yung natatandaan niyo ba yung mga pati ng katawan, yung kamay, mayroong leaves, may ilaw, may tenga, may puwet, may pa. Ang isang tao, para umilos ng maayos, dapat nagkakaroon ng operasyon yung bawat katawan na, ng bawat pati ng katawan. Isa lang ang hindi umayos dyan, apektado na lahat. Halimbawa, napila yung isang kanampaan natin, hindi na magandang maglakad ng isang tao kung hindi magiging maayos ang kanyang mga pa. Tama. At isa pa, kung halimbawa <clears throat> hindi nyo pina, hindi nyo pina, hindi pinapansin ang isang pati ng katawan natin, ang isang pati niya, halimbawa, uh, yung kwet. Hindi siya pinapansin ng kamay, hindi siya pinapansin ng, ng uh, pa hindi sa pinapansin ng ilong, although yung ilong ang muna nakakapansin sa kwet. <laughs> Di ba? So, ang kagawin ni kwet, hindi nyo ako pinapansin, hmm. hindi ko ilalabas ang mga kinahin nyo, ang mga, ang mga pinasok nyo sa katawan nito. Pag hindi nyo ilalabas, maapektuhan lahat yun. Sasaktan tiyan. At pag sumakitan tiyan mo, hindi ka makakalakad hindi ka makakagalaw. Kaya importante sa ating mga kristyano na nagkakaintindihan sa bawat isa. Yun ang fellowship. Amen. Amen. Our assembly is designed to steer one another to love and good works. And let us, uh, in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 to 25, and let us consider one another in order to steer up love and good works not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as is the manner of some, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Our fellowship is source of comfort and edification. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 11, therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, that as you also are doing. Our fellowship is source of comfort and edification. Oops, pumalit ako. In Hebrews chapter 
verses 12 to 14, Be more brethren, that lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living of God, the living God. But exhort one another daily while it called today, lest any of you harden through the deceitfulness of sin, for we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Experience in fellowship, assemble together with Christians every opportunity you can. Take advantage of the assemblies offered by the local congregations. Not just one time on Sunday, but every time the door is open. Hindi lang yung linggo tayo mag, uh, magsasama-sama. Kahit mga weekdays, may mga pagkakataon tayo uh, dalawin ang bawat isa, mag-body, mag-chit-chat. Napaka-importante yun sa buhay kasyano natin. Look your ways, look for ways to be with Christians daily. By poll, Bible studies, and social activities. Nami-miss ko na Bible studies. Hindi, hahanapan natin mo yun eh. Lalo na yung nakasanayan natin, hahanapan natin natin yan. Na-exacto naman, ano? Amen? A fellowship with our Christians strengthens one faith, one faith in God and Christ. Ito na po na sa panglima na tayo. Matatapos na po. The fifth and final exercise in the original five minutes was running in place or walking to increase endurance. A spiritual five minutes plan includes spiritual activity that produces endurance as well. Alam niyo po na yun? Sino na ka? Ito na. Do good works. The role of good works. We are not saved by good works. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. In Titus chapter 3, verses 4 to 5, But when the kindness and the love of God, our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to His mercy, He sent us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Number two, but we are created in Christ for good works to glorify God. Sa paggawa natin ng kabutihan sa kapwa, o hindi lang sa ating kapwa, maging sa ating mga kaaway, sa mga, lalo na sa mga taong may hira, Nakikita doon ang pagpupul sa Panginoon. Nag-glory by our Diyos sa mga paggawa ng kapatihan natin. In Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God had prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. Number three, thus we are to be fruitful in every good work. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 10, that you may walk to work worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work, and increasing the knowledge of God. Number four, we are not to grow weary in doing good. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Galatians chapter 6, verses 9 to 10. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in two seasons we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Sa pagbibigay natin ng tulong sa ating kapwa, doon 
tayo nakikita ng Panginoon. Doon natin nabibigyan ang Panginoon. At doon natin nabibigyan ng papuri ang Panginoon. Good works is essential if we are going to reap spiritual benefits. Doing good works, sharing the gospel with the lost, Minister to brethren and to the health in need, whether physical or spiritual. Utilize your resources, time, money, talents, to help the poor and sick. It's day time to do something that blesses another person. Good works done systematically builds spiritual endurance. Conclusion. We have seen the five spiritual fitness but plan to change these five elements. Ano ano nga yung mayon? Una? Word of God. Pangalawa? Prayer. Pangatlo? Sing praises. Kahit sito na ito, umata tayo. Mamaya kaganto tayo, kaya umata tayo lahat, ha? Amen? Pangalawa, fellowship with brethren. At panglima, do good works. In gates and daily, I believe they go a long way to developing strong Christians. But please note that these are basic exercises. I'm not suggesting they are every, everything Christian needs to do. However, they will establish a good foundation of spiritual fitness. Perhaps you might find this plan helpful as you seek to carry out the admonition given by Paul to the young man Timothy. Exercise yourself toward godliness. For bodily exercise, profit so little. But godliness is profitable for all things, every promise of the life that grows, that now is and of that which is to come. In first Timothy chapter 4, second 3. You know what? Smarami, smarami, smarami.
Right now. 